Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I am going to do the top 10 coloring essentials tag that was created by the lovely Monet, the coloring diva. And I was tagged by Monet to participate in her tag of my top 10 coloring essential items that I have to have when I'm coloring that I pretty much use on every single coloring page. So let's jump right on into it. And look at me, I have like the last four of my items like exposed. <laughs> but that's okay. You guys already probably know what everything is about because you always see me coloring with them or using them. So my first and absolute essential item is of course my color charts you know i absolutely cannot live without color charts i use color charts on every single page that i color i have to have my color charts or else i cannot complete a coloring page because I use my color charts to decipher what colors I need to use, uh, what colors I maybe uh, want to put together or blend together. And sometimes I would just stare at my color chart for <laughs> sometimes minutes and minutes and minutes until I decide on a color because I will have a color like in my head and then I will, you know, look for that color in the coloring supply that I have. So my first thing that is just absolute essential are my color charts. And I have many more than just these two. I'm a color chart aholic. <laughs> so yes, the color charts are number one essential. Number two are my cases. Whether it be my pencil cases, Yes, I have a case for absolutely everything. If I don't have pencils in a case, more than likely I will not use them. So I have to have everything that I use. It has to be in a case. That is including pencils, pens, markers, Just absolutely everything that I have, if it's a coloring supply that's not in its original packaging that I cannot put in a case, it has to be in a case. And it's even better when like they come in their own cases, like the castle art, they come in a case, their own case and, and like these pens, color it and Sioux color and now tan mint, they come in their own case. But before I got those, I had to get a case for all of my million pins that <laughs> I own. They had to go in a case or else I would not use them. So I have all of my fine liners and gel pins all in a case. So with that being said, I'm going to number three. Number three most essential item is of course my pins. I absolutely need pins in my life because they are an amazing addition for embellishments and also just regular pins. I use these to write down uh, different things to complete my color charts. So, I absolutely have to have pins for embellishments, for glitter, accents, and so forth. So that is my coloring essential number three. Number four is all of my white accents. Now I may as well take this jelly roll and just throw it over to the side because it just does not work for me. I know a lot of people love it. They love jelly roll white, but it just does not go over my Prismacolor pencils or my waxy pencils like I need it to. So Jelly Roll, you just get on over there and stay over there because I bought 
several sets thinking, okay, maybe it's clogged. Maybe it's clogged. Maybe it's just this one. Maybe it's just this one, but it's all of them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but they don't work for me. But this Uniball, uh oh, see, this one is so good. I think it's the Uniball Signo, but no, okay, nothing compared to the Uniball Signo. This is an amazing gel pen. Oh my goodness. When my jelly roll wouldn't work, I went to this one and it saved me. So the second in line, this is what I started out with, actually the Galaxy Marker. And oh my goodness, I don't have a Posca, my Posca paint pen. Okay, well, I have a Posca paint pen. It's, you know it's here. That's one of my essentials, but I actually don't use my Posca paint pen, white, white Posca very often. But I do use this Galaxy Marker Paint Like Ink. So I use that for my white accents. And of course, you know, I use my Prisma White Pencil for my white highlights and my coloring pages. And this white Sioux Color Pen Gel Pen, this right here is just as good as and why won't it focus there we go this is just as good as the white jelly roll i'm going to be honest and it's a fraction of the cost even though you can't buy it by itself the price you'll spend on that jelly roll you can buy a whole set of these pens which are amazing i absolutely love the sioux color gel pens they're pretty much just as good as the jelly rolls the metallic ones the colored ones all of them so grab you some guys and gals it's life all right my next thing that's absolutely essential are my blending pencils and i have quite a few of them but the one i consistently reach for is the prismacolor premier colors blender i also have the splendor blender by koinor polycolor have two of those no three of those but I don't use them very often. Excuse me, I only use them with my tritones and my poly color, color pencils. And I have this Prismacolor colorless blender, which goes along with my art sticks. This is a complete colorless blender stick. All colorless blender is here, no wood casing. So that's what that is. And that's kind of what this Karen Dash one, is also it's nothing but the lead nothing but the lead in the pencil so I'm learning how to use this better at first I didn't like it but it is growing on me so you know how that happens I don't like something and then I'm like wait a minute I think I love you <laughs> so the next thing that's absolutely essential for me in my coloring is actually this scrap paper. I have to have scrap paper to clean off my colorless blenders because once you use your colorless blender, you always need to clean off whatever color you used because that color will transfer to your coloring page and then you'll get muddy colors or either that color will just You'll, you'll color something red and then you want to color something yellow and then you have a big red line in your coloring. So you have to have that scrap paper very handy so you can quickly clean off your blender pencil. The next thing that's absolutely essential are these page protectors. And I make my page protectors with either a Dollar Tree cutting mat, which is this clear here, or either a hard plastic type placemat from Dollar Tree. I cut my uh, pages down to size, whatever size I need, whether it's for a small coloring book, a larger coloring book, a square coloring book, a rectangle coloring book, whatever kind of coloring book, I can cut it out and customize it because I have to put something behind my pages because I'm so heavy handed. So if I don't put something behind my page, not only will I transfer the ink onto the colored pictures if they are double-sided. Double but also I will leave indentations on my coloring pages and you will see that when you get ready to color the next page or the next few pages, you'll see all of these prints and indentions in your page and you're like, where did that come from? How did that happen? Well, it's because I didn't have a page protector 
So I learned my lesson and I use page protectors for every single coloring page now. Next essential item are my water brushes, my water pan, and my paint brushes. I actually use my paint brushes a little bit less than I use these two items. I'm always, always, always using these because I work with water mediums quite often and I just need these all the time. I mean, all the time, I love them. They're dirty. That's why you can tell I use them. And this is my little water pot. Sometimes I keep water in here just for quick handy, but it's also my pot to clean my brushes. It has the little lip on the side. I got it from the dollar store. So you can wipe off the excess water so that you won't have too much water on your coloring page. Now the next thing that's absolutely necessary in my essential coloring supply stash are my X-Acto knife and my regular knife, craft knife, kitchen knife. I use this kitchen knife for my pastels, for scraping my pastels off, and I use this X-Acto knife for cutting my washi tape when I use them in my coloring books. So that's just my absolute, you know, favorite thing to do these days. Use washi tape in my coloring books. And if you are super interested in seeing how I do that, please leave a comment below. And I will try to get that recorded for you ASAP. Now, for the bit kahuna, for the love of my life. What is 99% essential in all, pretty much, of my coloring pages are these puppies here. Yes, it's a bucket full of pink finger thingies. <laughs> these are my infamous, what I call, pastel pushers. I use these to... Spread my pastels on my page, whether it's a hard pastel or a soft pastel. And I will link a video showing you how I use this with woodless pencils to make them to turn it, turn them into hard pastels. So it's a super, super easy way to spread your pastels and have them to be opaque. Uh, I'm going to do a video very soon about something that you are going to be very, very interested in. So I'm not gonna talk about it right now. I want it to be a surprise, but it's going to involve these, okay? So look out for that. If you have purchased these, I'm going to give you an in-depth kind of tutorial on the best ways to use these. But I'm going to give you a little trick tip here. I know a lot of you use pencil grips because we have the pain on our finger whichever hand we use them on we need protection because we color so much these are actually amazing to use on your coloring fingers both of them i i actually will put two of them on sometime instead of changing pencil grips on each one of your pencils all you have to do is put these silicone protectors finger protectors on either finger either this finger and I'm not doing what it looks like I'm doing put it on this finger or put it on both fingers and it protects your that little bump right there that little hump or that little uh, cartilage or bone it protects that area when you're coloring so that way you can use any and every pencil that you would like to use without putting pencil grips on each and every pencil that you want to use or changing them out. It takes the whole headache, but that's not what I mainly use these for. I absolutely love these for using with my pastel usage. And now I found out a way you can actually blend your color pencil work with these tools. My people, 
This is lifesaver. This is life right here. This is my number one essential that I have to have when I'm coloring on every single coloring page. And yes, I have one for all 10 of my fingers, even though I'm not going to put them on all 10 of my fingers. But if I needed to, look at that. How hot is that? It's just beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, boy. So these are an absolute necessity. And I recently was informed by a lovely, lovely subscriber. You know who you are, girl. I'm not going to call your name, but thank you. She recently told me about Amazon had these that... By the way, I get these from Dollar Tree and they're three, four dollar, but they also sell them on Amazon, but they're like four or five bucks. But these are very unique. I have not found a finger protector quite like these because it's a harder silicone. But a lovely subscriber told me about these, which are on Amazon for 20 of them for $6.99 or $6.59 at the time is what they were. But most of them are running like $8.99, $10 for only 10 And I was like, no, I'm not paying that. But we found them. Well, she found them for that amazing price for so many. And I got them. And they actually come in two different sizes in the package. And you see, this one is filthy. Look at that. That's ridiculous. She asked me, do I have a bunch of octopuses over here helping me color? And I was like, yes, girl, about 10 or 20 of them. <laughs> But they come in these two different sizes and they're very, very soft silicone. And they don't quite spread color like these do, but they are. I cut my hand. Oh, they see they're very super, super stretchy. These, you can't stretch these at all. They're hard silicone. I cut my finger and it was hurting me every single time I held a pencil it hurt for me to use this hand. So I put these on and they are, they're like jelly. They are super, super soft. They remind me a lot of the squishies, the pencil grip squishies. They have the exact same texture. So if you use those squishies, you would absolutely love these finger protectors for protecting your finger. And it goes down way further than this one does for protecting your fingers when you color in your coloring book. So I recommend these for just finger protection. <laughs> and uh, Jessica, if you, if you just heard that, this is for you. Get your mind out the gutter. That's all I got to say. <laughs> this is a G channel or at least PG-13. <laughs> okay, moving on. I actually have a number 11 for you. I have bonus footage. <laughs> bonus footage. I couldn't stick with 10. I absolutely had to include a few other things in my essentials. And you know that's my favorite pencil sharpener. My makeup brush to dust off pencil shavings, my harder pencil, not pencil brush, but my harder brush to brush off like my hard pastels and my woodless pencil shavings to get them in the right place. I absolutely need my mechanical pencil because I usually draw in extra things in my coloring pages and I absolutely need my cup to put my coloring pencils or pens or whatever it is I'm, I'm using at the moment. I store them in all of my little cups to separate what I'm using at the moment. And there are quite a few of them just sitting on my desk because I need them in my life. I have to stay organized. Okay, I have a question for you. Am I the only one that's a and that's an organization freak. I'm just an organization addict. I will literally organize something and then I'll reorganize it just for the fun of it. <laughs> I am an organization holic. So I have a lot of holic isms. <laughs> I'm a pencil color pencil holic. I'm a pastel holic. I'm a pen holic. <laughs> I'm an art supply holic. <laughs> 
Woo, goodness. I'm going to try to stop, stop there with the holics, you know, so. Yes, so that's my top 10 coloring essentials, everyone. Now, I'm going to tag three color tubers. But before I do, I want to say, if you have ever tagged me on YouTube and I have not responded or have not responded with the, the tag video, it's because I wasn't informed of it or I wasn't aware of it. The Coloring Diva Monet had, she knows me well enough to know that she had to contact me personally or leave a message on one of my videos or do something because I read all my messages. So if you left a message on any video, pretty much I would get it. Except for right now, messages and comments are being really, really crazy right now. So if I don't either heart your comment, love it, or respond to your comment, then I didn't get your comment. Because YouTube's comments are, I guess they're working on something with their comments now because of all of the spam. But if I didn't respond or love your comment, put a heart on it or a like, that means I didn't get it. So I'm not ignoring you. Love you too much to do that. But back to what I was saying, Monet contacted me and let me know that she was tagging me. Usually when I watch tag videos, I'm doing other things and I'm not a multitasker. I am not. If I'm doing one thing, I cannot focus on another thing. That's why most of my color and chat, I don't do a lot of color and chat videos because I can't focus on two things at one time. But I'm going to work on that and get you guys and you gals more color and chat videos because I know you love them and I want to give you what you love. <laughs> but if you ever tag me to do a, a tag, please contact me because I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you or not doing your tag like intentionally because I will do it. It may take me a month, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks <laughs> to get to it, but I will do it. So contact me some type of way. Contact me. My email is listed below in the description. You can leave me a message on one of my videos. Um, you can uh, like, well, I wouldn't say use the little hashtag, little at symbol. I'm going to do that to the people I tag. Plus, I'm going to try to contact them the best way I can, maybe on one of their videos, because I know how I am. If you don't personally let me know, I'm not going to get it or I'm not going to remember or either my mind just will not compute it. So if I'm watching a tag and I can be tagged. And I could hear my name, but I'd be like, mm, that person, that's nice they tag that person. Hmm, I wonder who Nisi the, the, the Dollar Diva is. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I got to go check her channel out. Yes, that's the way my brain works. It's a shame. <laughs> so <clears throat> let, me, let me get to what I need to be getting to. Oh, my goodness. Let, yes. I want to first tag Cassie over at Potato Princess. I will link all of these channels below so that you can go and check these channels out because I enjoy watching these lovely ladies. And I want to um, tag Cassie. I also want to tag Lauren Loves Color. So Lauren over at L Lauren Loves Color. And I'm getting I'm getting tongue tied with all these L's, Lauren. It's just Lauren, 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 Lauren love color, Lauren, 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 LLC. Let's cut tag LLC. <sighs> see, you all told me not to edit my videos, and now see, I'm getting all wild and out. Let next person, and last but not least, my girl Jessica Sparkles, Jessica over at Jessica Sparkles. I want to see all of you lovely ladies. Top 10 coloring essentials. I tag you. I tag you. You got a song. I tag you. So you got to do it. Because I tag you. And I sang to you in this video. <laughs> I need to go sit down somewhere. Nope, I'm not sitting down. I'm standing up and I'm dancing along with the video. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So those are my top 
10 Coloring E Essentials. And if you have a color tube channel and would like to do this tag, <clears throat> and I'm sorry if I'm breathing hard in the camera because I've been dancing like this whole time. Yes. Dancing and sniffing and wiping my nose because I'm having some allergy issues. And how did we get from a tag video to talking about allergy issues and pollen being up? I don't know. Sometimes that happens when you get unedited videos. I'm just saying. <laughs> so if you have a color tube channel, I always try to get back to the point. I promise I'm going to get back to the point. Please feel free to do this tag created by the Coloring Diva, Monet, the lovely Monet over at the Coloring Diva channel. Check out her channel. Check out the, these three lovely ladies channel. And please make sure you do the hashtag so that we all can find your video once you do it. So I tag you, 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 you and you. Okay. How about that? All right, I'm starting to lose my voice, so that means I need to peace out, guys and gals. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye.